Hello YouTube, welcome to another video by the Film Pros. Uh, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a simple intro and a quick intro in Adobe After Effects CS6 or CS5 or CS4. From CS3 and above, it's pretty much the same type of buttons. Uh, there might be some couple of differences, but it should be in general the same. But today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make an intro, like I said. At, my, the, at the beginning of the video, you saw my intro there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and play it again. And that's how it's going to come out. That's how it's going to look like, uh, basically. It's very simple, very fast. Uh, I am working on a new intro, so hopefully uh, I will uh, find some time to make that new, to continue making the new intro. But let's get started on the, on the, on the tutorial. So what you want to do is go to New Composition, or Composition, press New Composition. Make sure the width is on 1280 and the height is on 720 pixels. Uh, you can name it whatever you want, because I'm not going to force you to name it a specific way. And you can also uh, change the duration of it. You can have a one minute intro, which that is obviously just ridiculous. But go ahead and put the duration at 10 seconds. Uh, the event settings aren't really uh, important, but uh, just leave it on classic 3D. Uh, ray trace is more, you have to, it's kind of complicated, but I'll, I'll explain it later in one of my new tutorials coming out uh, sooner or later, hopefully. Frame rate can stay as is, drop frame can stay as is, uh, everything can stay as is except the duration and the the, the width and height. Uh, so let's get started, press OK, the background color doesn't really matter. After you got uh, your composition here, you're going to go ahead and press layer new. Uh, solid. Make sure it's on a uh, color. The color is uh, black. 1280 by 720 pixels. After that, after you got that, uh, go ahead and find, go into the search bar on the effects and presets and press in uh, and type in audio. <coughs> the one I used uh, in my intro was Spectrum. That's the one with the, the lines. The, uh, the waveform is the one with the connected lines that is just basically a wave. So we're, I'm going to go ahead and use Spectrum. You can use it whatever you want. And just go ahead and drag it on the black solid. Make sure that it's on 3D here. Uh, press this little box down here for the 3D layer. <laughs> and here you have the audio spectrum uh, editable um, fields. You can just change how it looks. Uh, the inner color. Uh, I'm just going to put in blue. And then outside color uh, green. <clears throat> and you can just basically uh, change up the make it rainbow like that by spinning the hue interpolation a, a couple of times. Um, the rest of the stuff looks pretty good as as I see it right now. Um, nothing really needs to be. Uh, you could if you want to change the height, but we'll get to that once we have the music in and the thickness. Uh, you could change the thickness. I'll leave it. I'll put the thickness like this just to have a little bit of color in it. Softness, no. Softness, softness can stay as is. So, 50. Alright, so once we got that done, we are going to go ahead and we are going to get started. <coughs> Excuse me, I have really dry throat. We're going to go ahead and get started, and we are going to find um, our music that we want to add on. So I'm just going to go into here, and I'm just going to pull out a random one. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. Looking for a good song here. Let me just pull out this one. It's best not us. Wait for it to import. Go to your project tab, and... Uh, just drag the song onto the bottom. Audio should always go on the bottom. Just letting you guys know. After that, make sure if you got once you got your music in, make sure you go to the effect controls for the black solid. Go to audio layer and make sure you press on two. And once you play it, should uh, let it load for a second. You see, once it loads the music, it's able to recognize the song and it will be doing those little things whatever you call those. So let's hear it. So 
So that's basically how it's going to come out. If you want to, you could change how tall it is by going to the random part of the, the song. And uh, go to maximum height here. And just raise it a little bit. So it appears a little bit more. So there it is. Now all you have to do is add your text. And we are going to go to the text tool here. I'm going to draw right there. Let it load. And I'm just going to put film pros. Drag it in the center. Alright. So, it's in the center right now. And you can just basically edit how the... How the... I forget, I forget what I say. How the, the text looks. Uh, you can do that by going in... I, forgot how to do that. I haven't used uh, After Effects in a while, but I'm just going to change the font, maybe the color. Color will be good. Like that, and the border. The border of the color. Can't see the border at all. You can also change, you can change a lot of stuff here. It takes a while trying to think right now because I forgot how to use this um... I think that's... I'm just gonna leave it as is stop wasting time so basically what you're gonna do now if you want to fade it in just go to uh... uh... these little arrows here and go to transform on the film pros or your text make sure the opacity is on zero this is where the keyframe comes in and then over time, you just uh, put it to 100. I'm just going to put it to 100 at 2 seconds. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much how you make the intro that I made. So, let's go ahead and start from the beginning. And see this beast looking uh, intro. Not really beast. What you can do just to add some, um, just to make it interesting, you could go to new layer and uh, make a light. So here you go, you got a light. Now what you have to do is just center it, which is the challenging part. Z, no, it's the Y. Point it up. Bring up the Y more bring over the X ah no I did not want to do that god damn and like that perfect now when we start from it you can see that it only shows the film pros there and then it shows it doesn't show all the way to the ends of the intro so it just gives it a little interesting look So guys, that's it for today. Uh, that's how you make an intro. If you guys want a better intro or a better tutorial on to make a better intro, just let me know. Um, I just went by the comment saying how to make my intro. So uh, thanks for the guy who left the comment. Uh, really appreciate it. Usually I don't have many ideas how to make a video, so I have to um, improvise. But thanks for watching, guys. I hope you learned from this. And uh, if you have any questions, just comment or inbox me, and I'll answer them right away. I'm on YouTube every day. so. Um, thanks a lot guys. Appreciate it. See you later.